Another red light. Well, I'm gonna spill all the secrets you're holding about the spaceships up there and the aliens down here and all the stories, which is totally fake. on our board who started having experiences as a child in Pennsylvania. Um, had a couple of experiences as a child. Then all of a sudden at 12 or 13 or maybe 18 or 19 those experiences stopped. Years later he moved to Texas and was on a trip camping in the winter in Breckenridge, Colorado and he was abducted again and it was evidently by the same group because he was getting mental images that they were glad to see and they thought he had lost him forever and so for some reason even, even though he had some sort of tracking device when he up and moved across the country without warning they were not able to follow that and they lost contact with him until by coincidence he was abducted again they realized this was the same person or experiment that they had lost. And so it started happening again here in town. He was even abducted out of his house in northwest Houston from the second floor, floated. And he was in bed asleep and he was floated out of the room, uh, through the wall, down the hallway, uh, out into the backyard and up into a craft. Later, after that occurred under hypnosis sessions and some scientific investigation, he found that uh, where he was floated down the hall out of the bedroom, the nails in the sheetrock were pulled out toward the center of the hallway, like out of the wall. They were sticking out of the wall like they hadn't been nailed in. Out in the backyard, the tree that was right closest to where this craft was hovering up in the air above the house was completely magnetic and once you got into the yard and had a compass it would point directly at that tree and you could walk all the way around it and the needle would actually follow that tree. So that was kind of interesting. He, like I say, he started when he was a child. He was like four or five or six out in the backyard one day with his mother. She was hanging laundry on a clothesline and over at the edge of their yard there were some bushes separating the yard next door and uh, he could see something poking its head out of these bushes and his mother said well that's the neighbor kids and that's nothing don't worry about it and they finished hanging the laundry and he went back inside he believes that he had an experience that night when he was in bed. He believes he was taken out through a window out onto the, the roof of part of the house and floated out. He was floated across the street up toward the craft and as he did he, he could see his parents sitting in the kitchen of the house across the street because they were actually restoring that house uh, from a relative and they were working late that night and they were still sitting there actually drinking coffee when he floated by the window up into the craft and that was one of the memories he had as a child like I said it all stopped as a young adult or a teenager and then he moved to Texas and was on a ski trip or a hiking and packing trip in ski snow ski territory around Breckenridge. He was evidently abducted then. The person that was with him had his own tent and basically witnessed the abduction happen where he was lifted up into the craft out of the tent and when they were driving from Colorado back to Houston after the trip, the person that was with him 
was real silent and obviously upset about something and finally blurted out while they were driving, that was real, wasn't it? It wasn't a dream. What we saw was real. He said, yes, it was, and I don't think we should talk about this until we are kind of uh, debriefed separately so we can get this story down straight to find out exactly what did happen. That guy slowly, after that, decided to leave town and he moved away. And uh, Dale didn't talk to him after that. So that was just an unusual experience and this lasted throughout Dale's life. He's now an adult and it's probably still happening. So your first experience was in a national park. Is this a common occurrence among abductees? Not under abductees, but uh, I've done some research and found out that in the United States alone, there has been over 1,600 uh, people vanish, uh, most of which vanished forever. Uh, in national parks around the country. Uh, Yellowstone and Yosemite uh, maybe being the, the highest places. Uh, and even smaller places, even some state parks around the country, things have occurred. And in these situations, sometimes people have, have disappeared while being as close as 10 feet from someone else and uh, they had been hiking like on a path a laid out path in a park a national park area um, through a forest and maybe uh, go around a curve and, and or a, around a bend and uh, there's maybe a group of people and they're kind of spread out over you know 20 or 30 feet and uh, one person turns to talk to the person behind them and when they turn their head back around the person in front of them is gone and there's no trace no no nothing they've brought in you know bloodhounds and 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 military and everything else and those people have completely vanished now in some situations uh, and it seems like, especially if it's children, sometimes they are found naked uh, way far, like sometimes as far as a mile away from where they disappeared, laying on the ground dead with their clothes nice and neatly folded up beside them. It's also been some adults that have been found this way. And sometimes it's been places where either the children or the younger people wouldn't have been able to climb up to or get to where uh, their bodies were even found. And uh, on situations um, where this has occurred, it appears that usually within hours after this happens, there is a major storm, either rain or snow, in the area where this occurs. The night that this happened to me in the Grand Tetons, you know, we went to bed at midnight and by 7 a.m. there was over two feet on the ground. So that, that kind of fits that same scenario. There are other situations that didn't fit that specific occurrence because there also appears to be thorns or bramble bushes uh, involved close to the areas where the people have disappeared when they were hiking. And a lot of times the people disappear, they've all had dogs with them. Um, and that's kind of strange too. Sometimes the dogs are found later, sometimes they are not. Sometimes they are found in areas nowhere near where they disappeared. So, we don't know exactly what's going on there. But uh, nonetheless, this has happened over 1,600 times in the United States where they vanished without a trace. Oh, 
say, can you finally start telling us the truth? Protect our civil liberties and end all war.